the nick of time. That is my name. Welcome back to Sakura Santa. Now, when last we left off, we officially met a fox spirit named Akina, who kind of sort of liked us after we did something nice for an old priest. So we're going to continue to see where this goes, because I want to know. I'm sure you want to know. So let's find out. What just happened there? I guess I've got a new friend. I'm going to keep walking around town, though. It's such a nice day. I'd like to actually enjoy it. Dot, 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 dot. Too many people makes walking through downtown like walking through thick jail. So I'll just go over there to Gingerbread Universe. Please? Please? I guess a lot of people are buying gifts for Christmas. I mean, downtown is always a little busy, but this is kind of ridiculous. My mind wanders back to the girl I met at the shrine. Spirit Realm? Fox Spirit? It's kind of weird, but I have a date, I guess. An actual date. That's even weirder than Spirit Foxes. I haven't had a date in years. I did say I wanted a friend, but wow, I didn't expect this. Not that I'm upset. Akina's been pretty nice to me so far, even if she is some kind of fox spirit god thing. That's actually a perfect way to, to uh, describe that, though I haven't ruled out good cosplay. I wasn't really expecting someone to ask me for a date, though. Well, I guess I have something to do this week, and I don't have to be alone anymore. That's nice. Oh man, come on. As I keep walking, a single person stands out amongst the bustling crowd. They stand still in the middle of those milling about. Uh, what? <laughs> I feel a strange urge to walk up to her. Directly behind her. Maybe I'll find out what's up with that outfit. Not that it isn't interesting. She looks kind of familiar. Kind of strange, though. A bunny outfit? Of all things. It, well, it isn't exactly Christmassy. I mean, it's not exactly the right weather for, well, that kind of dress. It's almost like she's wearing nothing at all. Ah, uh, hello. Please visit our cafe. It's just down the street in downtown. We're serving hearty, healthy, happy food. It'll keep you warm, fill you up, and put a smile on your face. Oh, I guess she's some kind of promotional mascot. Just then she spins to face me. Uh, hello. I, I don't really know what to say to her. She isn't moving to give me one of those flyers either. Are you okay there? She squints at my face. My non-existent face in this game. I'm starting to feel like a bug under a microscope. Koji? Eh? How do you know my name? She just takes a step closer, peering at me. You haven't changed at all, Koji. It's me, Itsumi. Itsumi? That Itsumi? You mean the one from middle school? And here we've got the friend from school. There we go, there we go. None other. Looks like she's brushing off her work for the moment. You look... Well, you mean you can see my everything? Well, yes, that's what I was thinking, but do you like it? I, uh, don't dislike it. But, well, why are you dressed up like that anyways? Do you work for a bunny cafe or something? <laughs> no, this is just an advertisement. So, what's the difference? If it were a cosplay cafe, everyone would be a bunny or something, but I'm the only one. Maybe she was the only one who fit the uniform so well. But yeah, this this sounds like Itsumi for sure. <clears throat> yeah, never change Itsumi. Well, except for the better. You're talking about my chest size. Shit. She's so blunt, I feel like I just got hit in the face with a hammer. Worse, it's almost like she's inside my head. I mean, not just that. I did get a good look from the other side. Did you like it? Why are you so blunt about these things? Come on, we're adults here, Koji. No need to get all worked up over it. I guess you're right. 
Never change, Koji. She fiddles with one of the cups on her chest. I don't know how it stays in place. Haven't seen you in a while. How have you been, Koji? Right, it's been a long time. I'm alright. Currently studying at university. I see. Doing well in your classes, right? Yeah, although... I'm not really used to a big city like this. It feels kind of empty in my apartment, too. I know how you feel. Like you're alone in the crowd? Even after all this time, Itsumi knows me inside and out. It's strange how some bonds seem to never go away, even after years apart. Yeah, what about you, Itsumi? How did you end up as a bunny? Family moved here when I was going into high school. Then I just stuck around. Got a job at the cafe. A lot of the customers know me now. So she's becoming fairly popular, just like how it was in middle school. I wish I could say I was up to great things, but this is pretty much it. Yeah, I really can see. She puts her index finger on my nose! You're thinking dirty thoughts again. That look, just like when you were a little boy. Hey, no telepathy! Don't I deserve the privacy of my own thoughts? She giggles a little. I missed you, Koji. I think you were my best friend. I miss you too, honestly. It's a shame that you had to move away. Can't do much about that now, right? So let's just make up for lost time instead. I'd love to. Well, I work full time at the cafe, and I don't have my schedule for the next week yet, so we'll have to wait to see what time I have off. But you could come by the cafe sometime. Sure, I'd love to. Great, we need a part-timer to help out. Oh. It's getting slammed every day. You can guess why. Right. Working in food and retail during the Christmas season. I mean, that has got to suck. I don't, I don't envy anyone who has to do that around this time of year. I wonder if that's what hell looks like. <laughs> but you'd be able to spend all day with me. So we'd kill two birds with one stone. Well, yeah, but... But it's not like old times, is it? I mean, I'd love to just hang out, but they're depending on me to bring in customers. Right, I see. It's a shame, but I guess that can't be helped. Yeah, it's a shame. I can't help but feel disappointed, even though she has her reasons. I mean, what are the odds that we just run into each other again? And even if that happens, we probably won't be able to spend time together due to our hours. Don't worry about it. I'd be happy to help. It's Itsumi, after all. I can't leave you to be eaten alive by your customers, even though that would make for an infinitely more interesting story. Great! It's been really tough finding help. We've already gone through one. Is it really that bad? You'll understand once you've seen it. What the Christmas season does is, uh, traumatizing. Even so, I won't give up. An old friend needs help and I can't just turn her down. <laughs> You're still as loyal as ever, too. So, university, you met someone yet? Wah, wah, what do you mean? A girl, maybe? Not really, no. Oh, I see. I'm, uh... I have trouble talking with people. Unsurprising. Ooh, and with Christmas too? The flyers begin to crumple in her tightening grip. Well, I'd like to have something to celebrate too. My parents aren't home this year, so the place is empty. Uh, the place is empty? I'm, I mean, I know the feeling. So, I'm really happy you're here, Koji. I was promised a few days off soon, so we'll just have to wait until then. If we can't do anything on Christmas, well, we can still hang out sometime soon, just like old times. That would be nice. So, when can you start? My schedule is kind of empty, so tomorrow, I guess. Right. Anyway, I really need to get back to work. These flyers won't hand themselves out. If they did, it would be a perfect world, wouldn't it? I'd still have to work during Christmas. She laughs weakly at her own joke. <laughs> Here, take one of them. We could use your help anytime you have time to spare. Absolutely. See you then, Koji. Yeah, later, Itsumi. I wander off into the crowd. I never thought I'd see Itsumi again. 
You had some kind of feelings for me a long time ago. But do you still have them? After all these years? Some things change, and some things remain the same. Considering how she acted toward me, yeah, she probably still feels that way. You keep telling yourself that, Koji. Just uh, keep uh, digging that hole. If she does, I don't know what to do. But having people with me is better than being alone, right? Sure is a strange day. Things just keep happening. Wonder if they'll stop. Either way, there's still plenty of daylight to kill. Dot to dot. Dot to dot to dot to dot to dot to dot. I never leave the town square. And it's fairly late in the afternoon now. What a day it's been so far. First Akina, then I met Itsumi again. After all, surely I won't run into anyone else, right? I mean, at least I'm not bored anymore. Yeah, just sitting around at home was the worst. Got to do something, anything, to break out of a rut. Trying to reach out helps. It's kind of corny, but it's true. Akina said sometimes if you do nice things, the world is listening. Well, I guess I, I'll just walk down the street. Whoa. Sorry, are you? What in God's name is going on? What, what, what kind of day is today? Like, what, what, what kind of day? This is, this is the third, this is the third girl in less, in less than, in, than what, three hours? Like, 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 what, what kind of world do we live in? My mouth dries out. I seem to have bumped into, um, a girl. Well, this certainly is of you. What? Well, why? Why is... I mean... Yeah, it is the season for corny Santa outfits, but why so racy? I don't... I wouldn't expect this normally. Has the world just turned into some kind of sex commodity? Well, I shouldn't forget myself. Hey, you alright? Nope. No response. This is, um... What if she has a concussion? Oh, I gotta come up with another voice. Okay, uh, let me think. Uh, 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 okay. Um, um. No, oh, I just tripped all over myself. Today's been so unlucky. I'm so very sorry for running into you. It's, it's fine. But, uh, maybe you should, uh, <clears throat> stand up. You're, uh, on display here. Eh? She tries to hop to her feet, but she only manages to stumble over again. N no st stop looking! Don't look at me! Okay, okay, I won't. Though I find it hard to actually do what I promised. The view holds my eyes captive. So nice and round. This outfit and her figure, it's perfectly hypnotizing. Then she starts up again, but slower this time. Moving on to her knees first, she doesn't seem to notice that her skirt still is too short for her panties. Such an awful day. What am I going to do? She starts to sniffle. H hey I didn't see anything, I swear. I don't want to make her cry. Everything's just gone wrong today. Uh, what do you mean? Christmas is going to be canceled this year unless I do something. But I can't find it. Christmas? Canceled? Can't find it. What what can't you find? My wand. I lost my wand. Your wand? Yes, I don't know where to look either. What's all this about a wand? Whatever it is, it seems important to her. I have to find it or Christmas will be canceled. She just barely manages to hold back the tears. This is terrible. I don't know what to do. Uh, your panties are still showing. She flushes red as she glances down over her body. I thought I told you to stop. Now she's up on her feet, trying to force her skirt down. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Hey, 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 I, I, I'm the one who signed on to play the game. I'm the one putting it on my channel. I'm the one taking the timekeepers here, so I gotta plow on through. Anyway, please forget that you saw that. W well, I, uh, 
Please help me. I know you're probably busy, but I need help. Badly. She tugs weakly at my sleeve. It's kind of pitiful. Oh, wait. Now everything makes sense. Of course! She lost part of her cosplay outfit, and she wants me to find it again. Will you help me find it? Please? Please? I keep on asking people, but nobody wants to help. Sure, I'll help. Sorry about your cosplay prop. Cosplay? What is that? Isn't that what you're doing? No, whatever it is, I'm Santa. Whoa, 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 hang on. Hang on just a second, okay? I, I know Santa Claus, all right? I know Santa Claus. Uh, I, I, I have read many a book about Santa Claus since I was a kid, all right? And you, sister, ain't no Santa Claus. At least not any of the Santa Clauses I read about. I need to get my wand back so that Christmas happens on schedule. I would be sad if that happened, and, and all the children will be sad and... and... Wow, she doesn't break character for anything. Well, I guess I'll play along. What can it hurt? Sure, Santa it is then. Okay then, Santa. I promise I'll help you find your wand for Christmas. You will? You really mean it? Of course! I can't disappoint all the kids out there. She leaps at me with her arms outstretched. The hug is very warm. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Uh, where did you last see it? Um, it's around here somewhere? That's way too vague. Retrace your steps. What were you doing when you lost it? Well, I was using it to teleport to my workshop. But then a gust of wind came and just blew it out of my hand. My, my, my eyes were closed, so I didn't see where it went. Must be some kind of professional actor with how into it she is. All right, well, tell me what I should be looking for. A wand, of course, made out of pure candy cane. It'll look different from the usual peppermint ones, though. So she has a candy cane wand. Is she from some kind of magical girl show? A Christmas special? Maybe someone thought five second rule and picked it up. Oh, I didn't think of that. She begins scanning the street. Over there! That is an enormous candy cane for sure. A small boy is lugging it around. Kill him. Santa starts running after him. I do too. At this rate, she might fall again. Excuse me. Miraculously, she doesn't trip as she reaches him. That isn't your wand. Huh? Finders keepers, it's mine! He clutches it to his chest with a suspicious look. Mama told me I couldn't keep it, but it's mine. Go get your own candy cane. How incredibly rude. Santa seems unruffled. Wasn't she embarrassed a moment ago? Hey, that doesn't belong to you, okay? I don't care! It's mine now! He looks like he's about to cry. Santa kneels down to his height, looking him in the eye. Kano, you can't just run off like that. Your mother loves you, and she knows that you want that stuffed teddy bear for Christmas. What? How does she know his name? Huh? Do I know you? Stranger danger? Of course I know you, Kano! I know you feel angry right now, but you need to remember, you can still do the right thing. Wow, it actually seems like it's working. She's some kind of cat herder. Listen, I know you found it first, but that wand belongs to me. What should you do with things that don't belong to you? You, you give them back. That's right. That's what a good boy would do. So are you going to be a good boy this year, Kano? The kid looks down at the giant candy cane in his tiny hands. I can see him tearing up a little bit. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad. I'll... I'll be a good boy, Santa, I promise. She pats him on the head. That's a good boy, Kano. He hands her wand back to her. In spite of her apparent clumsiness, she suddenly has the grace of a drum majorette with that candy cane in her hands. Sparkles outline her twirling movements. Is it... 
It's snow. It's snow falling from her hands. Either that or I'm insanely high right now. Kano just looks on in awe. You, you really are Santa. He's totally stupefied. I'm probably wearing the same expression. Of course, Kano. Remember to be good for your mother this year. I'll make sure that you get your teddy bear. As long as you promise me that you'll behave. You should return things that don't belong to you, right? You're right, Santa. She sounds so motherly in spite of her cuteness. Footsteps running faster than the rest of the crowd catch my attention. Uh, there you are, Kano. I was so worried about you. His mother, I'm sure. Kano looks up to her. I'm sorry, Mama. I didn't want to scare you. She sweeps him up into a hug. I'm sorry, too. She finally notices us. My son wasn't causing trouble, was he? <laughs> Not at all. He's a good boy. Good. He is a good boy. Thank you for looking after him. Don't worry about it. Be good, Kano. I'll keep my promise, if you do. He nods so rapidly, I wonder if his head will fall off. I promise, Santa. I'll remember. Mother and child walk off, hand in hand. I'm just standing there for a moment, trying to process what happened. So, uh... How did you know his name? And all that. I told you. I'm Santa. Don't you have a song about this? I'm keeping a list. Checking it twice. No, this has to be some elaborate setup. I point without even looking at someone down the street. Who's that? Her name is Tamika. She wants to see her grandfather for Christmas. Don't you worry. She's been a really good girl this year. I'm about to open my mouth when the girl walks by with a man who must be her father. I heard that your grandfather is getting better, Tamika. He's going to be able to visit us for Christmas. I can't wait to see him this year. He can't wait to see you either. My jaw gapes stupidly in amazement. How can... I told you, I'm Santa. Oh dear God, we have found Santa Claus. And I don't know if she's romanceable, but we're going to find that out next time. I'm going to fire up this time machine right now, timekeepers. I hope you had a good time. And if you had a good time, take the time to click the like slash upvote button. And don't forget to subscribe and or follow. And remember, do the best that you can with the time that you have been given.